Bombardier is hard at work with the certification regimen for its Global 7000 business jet, with entry into service expected in the second half of 2018. AIN caught up with Bombardier at the recent eBay show in Geneva to get an update on the program's progress. We have our first three prototypes actively flying. So the performer, the powerhouse, and the navigator, otherwise known as FTV1, FTV2, and FTV3, have all taken first flights, have all ferried to Wichita, and are expanding their test cards. So I'm very happy to share that FTV1 hit Mach 995 recently in flight testing as it continues to expand its envelope. FTV2, which is the powerhouse, is testing engines and uh, hydraulic systems is really well into its icing testing and FTV3, the navigator, which is testing avionics systems, uh, has a dual HUD and is uh, well on its way to uh, performing all the required tests. And really the first three aircraft, uh, when they're in flight testing, represent the majority of the testing that we have to do to achieve certification. Our interior installations are getting prepared to go on to FTV4 as we're going to be testing the first interior on that aircraft. It's called the Architect, so we're excited to uh, show customers uh, the first interior that will be installed and uh, the program from flight test to ground testing is progressing on track. The fifth flight test vehicle is called the Masterpiece and it will incorporate a new slightly lighter wing design. This aircraft will be used to complete entry into service validations. The company has previously announced that F1 legend Nicky Lauda will take delivery of one of the first aircraft. They haven't yet disclosed other orders, but maintain that interest remains high. The Canadian manufacturer sees the Global 7000 as occupying a unique niche among other ultra-long-range business jets. No one else offers a true fourth zone with a full crew rest area, so the aircraft does have capabilities that are unique uh, in the industry, and customers have responded very well to that. So some of the key features that differentiate the Global 7000 from its competitors really is around the smooth flight and the smooth ride quality that the aircraft offers passengers because of the advanced wing. It's very flexible, uh, so it's able to help abate turbulence and keep the ride smooth. Uh, the fourth zone, or the stateroom as we call it, really provides that ability to put a dedicated bed. So you're no longer sleeping on a divan or a convertible piece of furniture. You can have up to a queen size bed in that area and that will help uh, passengers arrive refresh. The stand-up shower uh, with uh, a large bathroom is also a very key feature. The Global 7000 7400 nautical mile range will allow passengers to connect non-stop between Dubai and New York City or London and Singapore.